everyone, it's Rachel Bear and welcome back to more Banjo-Kazooie. Last time we began Gobi's Valley, we didn't complete it however. Uh, we, uh, I don't even know what pyramids we did. We did the Big Sphinx, we did that one back there which was a magic game. We did the one that released all this water. We still have like three more pyramids to do I think. Got that one, this one. Actually just two, I think. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. I think this one is the maze. Oh, yes it is. Uh, hold on just a minute. I'm going to blow up my, uh, going to blow up my thing so we can see where this maze is heading to. Uh, they're not jerks. They're not going to put, they're not, they didn't put any, um, they didn't put any, any, what's it called? Notes. <laughs> they didn't put any notes in this maze, so you don't have to worry about that. They did, however, put the witch switch in here, and it's going to be in this back corner right here. I like the awkward pause in the music. You do have to hurry your butt up though because... What am I doing? Because, um... I've never not completed this maze, but I don't know. Ah! Get away from me! No, get away from me! No, I have to go this way! No, no, no! Frick! No, 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 no. Let me out, let me out of here, please. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Jeez. That's the first time I've run, run into Sandy Butt in there, but whatever. Um, well that was stressful. I think I lost like two health. Uh, wait, did we did we just get the Jinjo puzzle piece in there or no? Jiggy piece. Here's it right here. Oh, there it is. Make sure you actually grab that Jiggy if you get it in here. Like that that would have been bad. I don't even know. If you can re-enter this area once you've completed it. There's Feather in there. And we get Jiggy, what, number five? Yep, number five. Okay, that was a very stressful maze. And like... Oh, there also looks like there's a Mumbo token in here. Did I already get that? Oh, I think I already got that. Never mind. Um... If you are concerned about completing this maze, you can go ahead and look up a map of where everything is. So, I mean, if you're cons if you're concerned about it, that is an option. Um, totally recommend doing that actually, because if you want to get that witch switch, like that's going to definitely be the best way to do it. So we can't grab this yet. We have to hit that with Kazooie. Uh, there is a piece over here, though, and we want to grab the lovely Turbo Trainers to get it. And I think I'm actually going to grab the boots first and get those jiggy pieces. I do believe these are the closest boots to grab the jiggies. Or the jiggy pieces. Notes! What am I saying? <laughs> I think those are the closest waiting boots. You should be able to grab them, no problem. Yep, no problem. Nope, 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 wrong button. Nope, nope, nope. What am I doing? Completely freaking <laughs> off the controls, apparently. Wow, that was bad. Okay. Oh, before we get the before we get the trainers, the turbo trainers, how about we make our way over here? You know what? Screw that stupid magic carpet. That magic carpet is terrible. I'll uh, grab the wading boots to get over to the camel over here. Yeah, that magic carpet is cheap. It's like it will it will disappear while you're standing on it. See, look at that. It disappears. Too cheap. Don't like it. But this camel looks awfully sad, so let's break him free. It's too hot for Gobi. Here's your reward, bear. Gobi's off to cool down. It's too hot for Gobi, yet this place is named after Gobi himself. Eh, yeah, makes sense, right? <laughs> um... Do I want... How much health do I have? Nearly full health. I don't know. I guess we'll wait for the magic carpet. Get back on it. 
just gonna take this stop because that's a pretty safe place to stop. Yeah, it, it disappears if you don't do it quick enough. I don't know, it's stupid. I hate the magic carpet, but um... <gasps> Man, I just hate like everything about this stupid world. <laughs> but we do want to grab the turbo trainers, jump across, jump, jump. And jump and grab that. No, I've had that for a thousand years. Well done, Moral. Yes, that guy will be holding that jiggy, and the only way to grab it is once you've gotten the turbo trainers, you just have to jump on him with the tur turbo trainers on, and you can get the jiggy. Not too difficult, just have to remember to grab the, the shoe things. And everything left, so how about we go help Trunks? Trunker. Not Trunks, that's Vegeta's son. <laughs> Jeez. But we can go back to the beginning and Trunker and I think is his name Trunker or is it Trunkers? I don't know. Go Gobi's here. If you hit him, <laughs> Gobi's like, please don't do that to my wire. His name is Trunker. Okay, but he's going to grow really tall and Gobi's off going somewhere else because who cares about Gobi? Gobi's kind of a jerk, but. <laughs> Uh, the best way to do this is to climb up here and jump over from this tree to grab Jiggy number, what, seven? Eight? Eight. Uh, we have nearly all the notes. There's still a couple things left. So now at this point, we're going to want to use the flight pad over here on Mr. Sphinx. Uh, before- I'm gonna- I'm gonna get the first- before we start getting the Jiggies, I think I'm going to grab the- Second or like the honey extra honeycomb piece one of them is in that cactus over there I want to do that last because I am notorious for hitting the cactus and dying. So how about we don't do that? <laughs> but I do want to come over here There's like five notes on this little edge if we ground pound Gobi once again, he'll spell out that bah, That's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. That's not the last of Gobi, we'll see though. We're gonna see him in the next game. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for the magic carpet because... Yeah. <laughs> Come on, magic carpet. It's gonna start glitching out like right there. Or maybe this one doesn't glitch out. Maybe it's just the other one that glitches out. I don't know. I'm not about to take my chances, but... Uh, we still have to do that little game with these hoop guys, but I think I'd rather do Kazooie's pyramid over here. So we only have a few seconds to get down there. Uh, best suggestion is to do this. And... That. Yeah, that's just the easiest way to get in there. Um, before we talk to that guy, I think the rest of our notes should be in here. 94... 96, come on. 98, and 100 should be this last one. Yay! Yeah, we found all the notes, blah 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 blah. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of help? No? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good, I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? So we're gonna wanna poop some eggs into this lovely... Oh, great. A thousand thanks, my friend. Hisstup here. Your Hisstup will now help you with your quest. Yes, that snake's name is Hisstup. <laughs> kind of silly, <laughs> super unrealistic, but whatever. <laughs> this awards us uh, Jiggy number nine, and all we have left is the other Jiggy and the other honeycomb piece, which I said definitely want to do less. Whoa, I didn't realize that thing always goes back in. That's strange. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I definitely suggest leaving the cacti, cactus, cacti, it's just one. I def definitely suggest leaving that one for last because you don't want to die and have to redo some of the stuff in here. Cause like, 
like I said, if you are playing the N64 version, if you die in a world, <laughs> that's basically just game over. You're gonna have to go back and get every single note that you collected, and that is such a pain in the butt. I cannot express how much of a pain in the butt that is. Like, I died in this world and had to come back and get everything. It was the worst. But these guys are some secret society, so they say, and they need your help flying through these hoops and blah blah blah, and nah, they're, they're totally kidding, but... But this is the last thing you have to do to get the last Jiggy. I think this is the last one. Nope, one more. I think that's the last one. <laughs> I mean, I could just say that about every single one of them, because I, I, I don't know. I don't remember this one super well, but... Come on, dumb camera angle, come on! Of course, of course, I don't actually get points for flying through the other side of it? Is that- is that it? Come on! I'm like breaking my controller. We can only give you this, and it's the last Jiggy. For time's sake, I'm going to try to get that honeycomb piece and then go back for the Jiggy. Hopefully we don't die here because that would be pretty sad. But, um, jeez, let's get lower than this. Okay, concentration. Oh man! Oh man! Did not even take damage there and I feel like I was like breaking my controller trying to maneuver that. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, that wasn't just impressive. Wow. I've never done that without taking damage before. Apparently I got a good angle. Oh, please just let me- I'm on- I'm on land. No, 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 no. Okay, great! Oh, landed right into the last Jiggy. Here's Jiggy number 10. And this world is completed. Um, I'm going to go ahead, cut back to, um, the other worlds and show- or, like, I'm gonna cut back to at least one of them to show the Jiggy that we're gonna grab. So I think we'll start with Bubble Gloop Swamp. So I'll see you guys in Bubble Gloop Swamp in just a minute. Okay, I kinda lied because I just realized the Witch Switch Jiggy is like right here. If you jump to the top with that, you can go ahead and grab uh, whatever Jiggy number this is. Um, see you guys in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Okay, back in Bubble Gloop Swamp, you're gonna wanna transform into a crocodile once again and talk to this guy. Her, 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 I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B it chicken out. Game is simple, eat more red yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies, ready? Go! Um, you don't have to, but I would suggest just grabbing the speedy shoes because it's gonna help. You don't really need to for this game or the next game even. It's more like the last game that it's really difficult and if you don't get the turbo shoes and you're playing on Xbox Live, I don't know why, but you're just gonna have a really hard time with it. So I definitely suggest grabbing the shoes, um, and like, you won't need it for these earlier ones, but since you have them, why not just use them? Because it'll just make the game that much easier. So, like, even I'm not doing super great, and I don't know. This game is definitely a pain in the butt, though. Okay, we just want to grab more yumblies. Oh, come on. Okay, we won by like nine points. Not bad, not bad. And then you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Again, I'd like to grab the lovely turbo trainers. Make stuff much more easy. Much easier. I don't know why I said it like that. That's not even- that's not right. Um, oops. Be careful! If you press X, you'll just keep biting for a little bit. You can get one of the red- or the yellow grumblies. They will make you pause for a short while and you won't be able to collect anything. You'll be like sitting there with like an upset stomach for a second, so. 
do be careful about the grumblies. They are no joke. Okay, got that one. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these mini games. I don't know, they're hard and it sucks when you lose. Like, I lost so many times when I was trying to do my initial run through of this that I just couldn't. I just could not. Um, I couldn't beat it. I tied. But this one, only eat was shown at the top of the screen. This one is a pain in the butt. It's very difficult. And it switches so quickly that it can be kind of disastrous. So just be careful on this last one. Definitely get the turbo trainers if you want to win. And that's about all the advice I have because otherwise this game's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, come on. I still suck. Yellows, 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 yellows. Please come to me. See, I ate the wrong one. But that's okay, because now we're over to the red ones. Yellow, yellow. Come to me, yellows, please. Yeah, seriously though. I might have been hyping it up too much, but I'm not kidding. It was very difficult before with, um... Without the turbo trainers. Seriously, don't take this as a joke, but, um... That completes Bubble Gloop Swamp, and... You know what? I think I'll meet you guys back in Freeze Easy Peak to get the other Jiggy. So I'll be see you guys in just a minute. Okay, back in this area, you're gonna want to... Not do that. You're gonna want to poop some eggs. Of course, I'm completely blanking on what, uh, the... <laughs> on how to do that, but... Before we go back into Freeze Easy Peak, why don't we just go ahead and grab the Jiggy that's out here, because that makes sense. Beware of this snowman. Pretty annoying. Uh, jump before you hit me. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is... Not go up there. You're gonna want to... Hit the switch. And hurry your ball over there! Very fast! Go fast, fast, fast! And... Hit A! Hit A! And that breaking sound is the uh, switch breaking. Yes, that is how much time you have to do that. That is how ridiculous it is. But, um... Now that we're flying... And getting stuck, because I don't want to lose my flying... You can go ahead and fly up here. <clears throat> and also get a uh, voice crack because my throat hurts. I have not recorded in this long. I've been talking for like nearly an hour-ish. So there's that. But that's how you get that jiggy. You do need the turbo trainers to do that. Otherwise you won't be able to get it. And back in Freeze Easy Peak. No need to transform into a walrus this time. We're just going to go on over and meet Boggy over by his little sled area. Yeah, don't hit me. Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or be a chicken out. I'm not chicken. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red slalom gates and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, if you don't grab those turbo trainers or don't have them, it's instant loss. Because you won't be able to get past Boggy and it'll just go really slow. Can't wait for me, please. I hate this race so much. Cannot explain how much I hate this race. If you fall in the water, it's it's your um your turbo trainers are done for. So if you fall in the water, there's no coming back from that. And do that little trick to get in front of Boggy and you should be good to win. Voila! Very easy. Um, 
<laughs> no, I've lost again. Take my other mail. I'm off to look for my kid's presents. Too late. I already got that too. You're the worst dad ever. <laughs> Seriously, Boggy, you, you like super suck. But with that, we've now completed three worlds in one episode. <laughs> kind of. But um, if we go ahead and view our totals. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Freeze Easy Peak. And... Gobi's Valley. Wow, they all took 27 minutes. That's kind of freaky. Not gonna lie. But with that, we're completed. So next time we will be doing the next world after Gobi's Valley, which is called Mad Monster Mansion. We'll have to open it up since we haven't done that yet. But we'll be doing that and yeah. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.